Kimberly, thank you for that inspired post. Appreciate hearing about your experiences, but also those reflections of real world occurrences. Uh, I think I think it's important to always pause and take stock of, of the way things are, uh, as well as the way things were. And we have to be active, actively reflecting on that in order to be participants in helping create, co-create the way things will be. You're absolutely right. I think there are, uh, what do you call it, broad, sports broadcasting, let me be specific. It's a very gender-dominated um, uh, area. I guess we could call it genre or medium. Um, and, uh, and when we say gender-dominated, it's male-dominated historically. Uh, I think women have been fighting for placement for, uh, for the last few decades. We see certain steps being taken. Uh, we see certain strides occur. Uh, every so often I'll hear some kind of new link uh, being connected. Something like this year, the first, you know, female called a Monday night football game and then you know they had a commentator doing all the you know these different things even in that world of we call it not professional sports but professional sports entertainment right the, the uh, WWE they they made their little pseudo announcements that they moved up a female to their broadcast teams okay and so we're seeing these little steps being made and taken um, it's there's so much more uh room for growth and uh, needed it, it will uh, it's going to continue to move in that direction but the pendulum always swings and so we have to be on the lookout for that it is very unfortunate every time i hear instance of you know, that example you provide of maybe males talking over females that is that is a, a large problem it is it's first and foremost rude right and it's a, a broadcasting uh um, negative practice, but uh, hang in there, you know, continue to hold your own in those places, and that goes for everyone in the circumstances you're in. I think about uh, the role of uh, Michelle Beadle, who, who sort of like really worked and worked and worked her way up the chain, uh, and, and, and is kind of like commanding some important spaces. Uh, maybe Aaron Andrew, Andrews before that, but I, I don't want to cherry pick these sorts of names. And also, uh, one thing we can uh, uh, take take note of and, and, and remember to be mindful of is that just because there are these sort of token positions given out, or, or rather a single position goes to you know someone of a, uh, a different gender or a different race and so on, that's not the stopping point. Like, that's not the win and you know chalk it up and now let's go back to the uh, the way things were it's a can it will be a continuous um you know point of uh competition and you know the the goal is to stay competitive is to stay passionate right and but also to locate places where you are going to uh, be valued and find value and that's for all of us in any roles we're performing we want to find value in our work we want to be valued for the labor we put in great uh great commentary kimberly thank you so much